A strike continuing today inside Alabama prisons. Inmates have stopped performing their duties to protest their living conditions. And some are saying this protest has been a long time coming, giving the U.S. Department of Justice's lawsuit against Alabama over its prison conditions. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker spoke with one of the U.S. attorneys who negotiated with the state about the need to improve the prisons. Former U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Alabama, Jay Town, helped negotiate on behalf of the federal government in D.C. and Montgomery on finding remedies for what the DOJ describes as a state prison system in need of major improvements. The negotiations did not resolve the problems of unsafe prisons, and the DOJ sued Alabama in December 2019. They're old facilities, and this is uh, an inherited problem by the state currently, but a problem nonetheless in, in the problem of of, of Governor Ivey and ADOC and the legislators that appropriate to sort of abate against these Eighth Amendment issues. Prisoners across the state are refusing to work inside the facilities in protest of the conditions, but town says these actions could be hurting those on the inside more than helping their cause. Well, I'm sure the prisoners are, are tired of the conditions in which they are living. I, I don't think that any critical services uh, are being disrupted inside of these prisons and frankly, uh, if you want to call it a strike, strikes like this uh, inevitably hurt the prisoners inside um, because the services that are typically provided by prisoners involve cleaning and cooking and laundry and things like that, that, that uh, everyday tasks that, that prisoners sort of rely upon. But he thinks their plan to get the prison system's attention is working. Some of them think this, this is a meaningful way to engage with the Alabama Department of Corrections. Um, I do think ADOC is taking notice. I do think the state's taking notice. Um, but really all this is is a reminder of, of the Eighth Amendment uh, conditions uh, inside of our male facilities in Alabama. Dozens of inmates have died in Alabama prisons this year. News 19 has received a number of concerns for inmate safety. The Justice Department says Alabama's prison conditions violate the Constitution's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. To the extent that any of those deaths are the result of physical violence, obviously that's something that um, every Alabamian should should want to avoid. Um, people don't go to prison um, uh, to, to die. Uh, they go there to serve their time uh, and do their, their bit for society. Town says in the last several years, the state has tried to make changes. And certainly we've heard about uh, two mega prisons being built in the state of Alabama, which I believe to be a good idea. Uh, but we still have an overcrowding issue. We still have uh, those unsanitary and unsafe conditions. ADOC is still vastly understaffed. If the DOJ matter goes to trial, it's likely to happen in 2024.